We'll go ahead and start in our comfortable seated position and taking a moment to feel the supportiveness of the earth beneath you. And then from that support, from the base of the tailbone all the way up through the crown of the head, begin to create some space between each of the backbones as you reach the crown of the head towards the sky and ground the sit bones down to the earth. and set the shoulders on the back side of the body. Settle the rib cage down. And land on a breath that supports your stillness. As well as your silence. And the mind begins to follow the breath into the body. Anchoring us into the present. And today's practice will be softening around intensity. So take a moment to think about where in your life things get very intense, become very driven, goal-oriented. Maybe you come up against a situation that knocks you off your path. How can you soften around that intensity? Is it with the breath? Or is it with the intention that you set? We'll take 10 breaths to let your own answer surface. And we'll support and trust that answer. Inhale. Open mouth, open jaw, exhale. Open up the eyes. Take in what surrounds you. Carry that calmness of the mind up to the top of your space where we'll begin in mountain pose. So standing at the top of your mat, Feet come right underneath the hips, the shoulders stack on top of the hips, and the head balances right above the heart. Bring your hands to your heart space. Whatever that answer surfaced for you, whether it's through intention or through your breath, how do you soften in the face of intensity? Mm -hmm. 
Inhale, Mountain Pose. Exhale, Forward Fold. Walk the hands over to the right hand side. Press down through the left big toe mound and the left inner heel. Let the rib cage hang heavy, the arm bones hang heavy. And then walk the hands over to the left, bumping out through the right hip. Anchoring down with the right big toe mound and the right inner heel. Forward fold, hands walk back to the center, the left leg steps back for a low lunge. Rise up to a warrior two. Building our foundation from the feet, up the legs, finding the bridge of the pelvis so the spine can grow long. Extended side angle. Lift up through the left inner arch, turning on through the left inner thigh. And come to a breath that supports you. Lunge, square the chest and the hips to the earth. Lower down on the left knee. Toe heel the right foot out to the outside edge of the mat. Right hand plants down, left arm circles around. Two more rotations. Full range of motion through the shoulder joint, priming it for our stability and strength work. Left hand grounds down. Bring the fingertips in front of the right shin. Toe heel the right foot across for pigeon pose. The left toes are curled underneath. Lift the hips up. Press down through the outer part of the right shin to turn on through the outer right thigh. And then walk the hands forward right above the shoulders and melt in with the exhale. Inhale presses the outer shin. Reach through the left heel. Lift the chest up. Exhale, soften down and in. Wonderful place to soften into the intensity. Inhale. Exhale. Walk the hands back. Fallen star. The right hand will be your foundation. The right leg will extend out. Left arm and fingers reach up to the ceiling. Tailbone lengthens towards the left heel. Lower the hips down to the earth. Fingers come to the heart or right behind the hips. Windshield wiper the knees to the back of your space and then to the front. And as you're moving the hips in this fashion, notice the internal rotation and the external rotation. The knees will fall to the back of the room. The fingertips will walk over towards the left thigh. You'll walk your hands forward and find a nice rotation through the low back. Inhale, puffs the heart up. Exhale, chest softens down to the earth. Two more rounds of breath. Inhale. Exhale. Then walk the hands. Plant them in front of the left shin. The left hand is your foundation. The right leg will reach back on the mat for fallen star. Nice. The tailbone reaches towards that right heel. The left shoulder loops underneath the left armpit, slight bend through the elbow. From the stability of your core, draw the left knee into the chest. Then step it forward for a low lunge. Press down through the left heel. Right foot meets the left for a forward fold. Hang the head heavy. Hands either interlace at the crooks of the elbows or the nape of the neck. 
Let any tension, let any intensity just dissolve into the, into the space that surrounds you. Release the hands to the earth. Plug in through the big toe mounds and the inner heels. Rise up to mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. The left leg steps back to a lunge. Rise up, warrior two. So three breaths to refine the sensations within the body. Playing with that intensity. Extended side angle, right elbow falls to the inside of the right leg. Hug the right outer thigh back and work to roll the left inner thigh towards the ceiling. Low lunge, pivot on the ball of the left foot. Pigeon pose, the right foot, toe heels across the mat. Neutralize through the hips so it helps to keep that left, the left toes underneath you. Inhale, lifts the heart. Exhale, softens you down and in. Two more cycles of breath. And in your own body, where can you soften around that intensity, around that resistance? The heart lifts up. Fallen star, right hand's your foundation. Right leg extends out, left fingertips up to the ceiling. Shoulders, joints stack one on top of the other. Hips lower down to the earth. Windshield wiper the knees to the front, to the back. Windshield wiper to the front and hold. Hands plant in front of the left shin, fallen star. Left arm's your foundation, right fingers up to the ceiling. To add more intensity into this shape, lift the left foot off of the mat. Draw the left knee into the chest, low lunge, pivot on the ball of the right foot, step the left foot forward, right leg comes to meet it, forward fold. Beautiful, Erin. Press the shin bones back, reach the sit bones up, Reconnect with that supportive breath or that supportive intention. Rise up to mountain pose. Forward fold. Right leg steps back to a lunge. Warrior two. Now notice if the lower body, if you're just hanging out with where you're comfortable, and how can you intensify the work and the effort in the lower body, bringing a bit more meaning into your practice. Extended side angle, keeping the side bodies nice and long. The arch of the right leg lifts to turn on through the right inner thigh. That'll help you to hug the left hip back and roll the head of the right femur towards the ceiling. Low lunge, square the chest and the hips to the earth. The left foot toe heels out for a modified runner's lunge outside the edge of your mat. Right knee lowers down to the earth, three circles with the right arm. Integrate the breath to initiate the movement, lubricating through the joint of the shoulder. 
Hands plant in front of the left shin, toe heel the left foot across your mat. Pigeon pose. Curl the right toes under, lift the hips up, try to balance the weight between the right and the left leg. Then set the hips heavy down to the earth. Walk the fingers forward, take a breath into the upper part of the chest, underneath the collarbones. Then exhale, soften in. Inhale, puffs up through the back of the body, buoyancy through the heart. Exhale, soften in. Two more rounds of breath. Chest stays lifted, left arm's your foundation, fallen star, the left leg extends out, the right fingers reach up to the ceiling. The left shoulder blade hugs underneath the left armpit, stabilizing the backside of the body. Come back to a supportive breath. Soften as the intensity builds. Lower the hips down to the earth. Hands either at heart center or right behind the hips. Windshield wiper the knees to the back. And then forward. Land with the knees to the back of your space. Walk the hands around to the right. The heart will square to the earth. Take a breath in. Exhale, lower the ribs down to the mat. Two more cycles of breath. Inhale. And exhale. Pull the breath down to the base of the spine. Allow it to nourish the hips. Hands come in front the shin. For fallen star, right arm's your foundation, right leg extends out. Right knee hugs in towards the chest, step it forward for a lunge. Press down with your right heel, step the left leg to meet the right, forward fold. Let any of the tension any of the intensity dissolve away into stillness. That abundant space that surrounds you. Stay light through the toes, rise up mountain pose. Forward fold, equal weight on the soles of the feet, reach your heart forward. Halfway lift, forward fold. Right leg steps back to low lunge. Warrior two. Nice wide stance in warrior two. The outer left hip is drawing back. Yeah. The outer left thigh is drawing towards the outer edge of the foot. So you're working 360 degrees around the left thigh. Extended side angle, left shoulder, left elbow falls to the inside of the left knee. The right outer thigh up towards the ceiling, the left hip will hug underneath. Lunge, square the chest, square the hips. Pigeon pose, left foot, toe heels across. Three breaths, inhale, exhale. Two more cycles. So in your own body, where does that intensity lie? Where is that energy blocked? Where is that muscle tension restricting you? 
How can you soften around the places that are hard or rigid? Lift the chest. Left arm's your foundation, fallen star. Right arm reaches up to the ceiling. Lower the hips down to the earth. Windshield wiper the knees forward and back. Forward. Hands plant in front of the right shin, fallen star, right hand's your foundation, hips lift up. Good. Reach the tailbone towards the ceiling, wide across the pelvis, right, wide across the chest. Beautiful, Nina. Draw the right knee into the chest, step it forward to a lunge. Left leg comes to meet it, forward fold. Notice if there's any more integration of the thigh bones into the pelvis. Let the spine cascade over the pelvis and get very heavy. Use the feet, slowly rise up to mountain pose. Exhale, back bend, press the pelvis forward, lift the heart up. Mountain pose, forward fold. Right leg steps back to a lunge. Rise up, crescent. First time in crescent, the toes are pointing forward. Your thigh bones are parallel to the earth. Scissor the inner thighs towards one another. Soften into the intensity. Is it with the breath or is it with your intention? Interlace the hands at the low back for a chest expansion. Keep strong through the lower body as you open up through the chest. The front of the ribs open up. The back of the ribs draw towards the front of the body creating an, an extension through the spine. Release the hands, plant them in, at a low lunge. Toe heel the left foot across for pigeon, one cycle of breath, inhale, exhale. Inhale, chest rises, fallen star, left hand's your foundation. Hold for a cycle of breath, soft bend through the left elbow. Lower the hips down to the earth. Windshield wiper the knees to the back of the spine. Plant the hands in front of the right shin, fallen star. Right arm to your foundation, left leg extends back towards the mirrors. Nice. Low lunge, right knee pulls into the chest, then big step forward. Left leg comes to meet it, forward fold. Rise up, mountain pose, grounding through the feet to lift tall through the arms, through the upper body. Exhale, back bend, cactus out the arms. Mountain pose. Forward fold. Right leg steps back to a lunge. Rise up to crescent. Chest expansion, hands interlace at the low back. Curl the tailbone right in between the thighs and scissor your Get strong through the core of the body. Humble crescent, knuckles reach up towards the ceiling. Chin tucks into the chest and the inner thighs are still working to hold the balance. Now is the intensity a mental block or a physical block? Are you in your head or are you feeling the energetics of the pose? 
Release the hands. Walk the hands over to the right for a wide-legged forward fold. Hands walk over to the right for a wide-legged forward fold. Ground through the outer edges of the feet. Lift through the inner arches to tone up through the legs. Then lean the weight forward onto your heels, then back onto the balls of the feet and land right in the middle. Tee out the arms, reverse swan dive brings you up to star. Heels in, toes out, settle into your horse. Keep the reach of the arms, draw the fingers to the elbows. Elbows move behind you, front of the ribs soften down. Now curl the tailbone right in between your legs, sunflower over to the right, right elbow to the right knee, down and around to the left, and then lead back up with the right elbow. Two more cycles of breath moving to the right. Nice, Sharon. Stay low in the leg so you're building that foundation. Release the rigidity in the neck. And then you'll reverse to the left for three breaths. We stay connected to our roots, our firm foundation as the upper body moves freely around. When you've completed your third cycle, the forearms will rest right above the crown of the head. Then the tailbone drops down, the knees move to the space behind you, turning on through the outer thighs. Now soften around any intensity that you feel, not only through the intellectual body, but through your physical body. How can you support that softening? Breath, intention. Exhale, straighten through the legs, release the arms, point the toes forward, wide-legged forward fold. Walk the hands around to the right. Low lunge, pigeon pose, toe heel the right foot across. Single cycle of breath. Inhale. Exhale. Discover if there's any more opening in the hip joints. Fall in star. Right hand's your foundation. Left fingers to the ceiling. Low lunge. Right foot steps forward. Left leg comes to meet it. Forward fold. Rise up, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Left leg steps back, lunge. Crescent lunge. You're on the ball of the left foot. And those two thigh bones are constantly working to find balance. Balancing the load of the upper body between both of the legs. That bridge of the pelvis. Interlace the hands at the low back. Chest expansion. Tailbone curls underneath you so the tips of the hips lift up. Collarbones move wide. Very nice. Beautiful, Sharon. Exhale out the breath. Low lunge. Hands plant. Toe heel the right foot across for pigeon pose. One cycle of breath. Lengthening the tailbone to lift the heart. Then exhaling, melting in. Very nice. Fallen star, right arm's your foundation. Good. 
Hips lower down to the earth. Windshield wiper the knees to the front, sorry, to the back of your space. Left hand your foundation, fallen star. Draw the left knee into the chest, step it forward for lunge. Right leg comes to meet it, forward fold. Rise up, mountain pulse. Forward fold. Left leg steps back, lunge. Crescent lunge. Chest expansion, hands to the low back. Humble, crescent lunge. Checking in with the jaw. Letting the right femur drop deeper into the socket. Hug it back a little bit. Feel all those supportive muscles around the acetabulum, around the hip joint, kind of turn on can be quite intense. So how do you soften? Release the hands. Toe heel the right foot across for pigeon pose. Soften the chest to the earth. Inhale, lift it up. Right hand's your foundation, fallen star. Building upper body strength a little differently than our chaturangas. Lower the right hip down to the earth. Windshield wiper the knees to the front of the room. Sorry, I've made a mistake. Windshield wiper the knees back. We'll come into a wide-legged forward fold, so we'll just kind of walk ourselves out of it. Come into our lunge. And then walk the hands around to the left for a wide-legged forward fold. Tee out the arms, rise up to star. Heels in, toes out, settle into your horse. Take the fingertips to the elbows and three rotations, sunflower over to the right. You, Kathy. So the knees stay evenly bent. Nothing changes below the pelvis. We're focusing on the upper body and the mobilization of the spine through rotation and lateral rotation. After your third rotation, we'll move to the opposite side. And when you're complete, sit in your horse with the arms above the crown of the head. Lengthening the sides of the bodies to draw the air in. Pull it down to the base of the spine. Allow the breath to make its way up the spine, softening down the shoulders, opening up through the chest. So our breath can help us with our posture. Straighten the legs, release the arms, very nice. Forward fold, walk the hands around to the left for a low lunge. Toe heel the left foot across. Fallen star, oh, oh I think we held for a breath, a breath and pigeon, sorry. And then fallen star, left hand is your foundation. All five fingers are grounded into the earth. That helps you lift the heart. It gives a shelf for the heart to lift up and out of. Low lunge. Right leg meets the left, forward fold. 
Mountain pose. Forward fold. Left leg steps back to lunge. Warrior one. So warrior one, the left foot's about a 45 degree angle. Heel is grounded down. I like my hips, my feet hip width distance, but you're welcome to take it nice and narrow. We're drawing the left hip forward as the right hip slides back. Arms extend up, reach through the left heel, fire up through the left glute. Give some stability. Exhale out the air. Interlace the hands at the low back. Puff up through the heart. Stretch open through the muscles in between the rib cage. Humble warrior one. Release the hands, plant them in front of the right toes, toe heel the right foot across, pigeon pose, inhale, exhale. Fall in star, press into the outer edge of the right shin, that'll keep working through that right outer thigh. Lower the hips down to the earth. Windshield wiper the knees to the back of your space. Left arm's your foundation. Fallen star. Low lunge. Left leg steps forward. Right leg comes to meet it. Mountain pose. Forward fold. Left leg steps back, lunge. Pyramid pose, straighten through the right leg. Neutral hips. Soften the chin down. Revolve pyramid, right fingers reach up to the ceiling. The right inner thigh is hugging in towards that midline. Try to keep as much length through the spine. Release the hands down to the earth. Walk the hands over to the right for a wide-legged forward fold. Sorry, the left. Yep, you're right. Thanks, Sharon. Toe heel the feet towards one another. Feet are coming to touch. Halfway lift the spine. Forward fold. Chair pose. Rock the weight into the heels. Check in with the knees and slide the shoulders down the back. Very nice. Hands come to heart, prayer twist, right elbow outside of the left knee. You're welcome to stay right here in prayer twist, gazing down at your knees, making sure they're in one line. Side crow, hands plant. Bend the elbows 90 degrees. The left thigh is going to rest on the shelf of the elbows. Maybe the feet come off the ground and the legs extend out in your expression of side crow. So continue to pull that breath into the places where you feel intensity. Maybe it's in the doubts or the ideas that we tell ourselves. How can you soften around those? And the release will be a forward fold. From the pelvis, toe heel the legs out. So it starts with the thigh bones and then makes its way all the way down to the feet. So we have more integration. Walk the hands around to the left. Toe heel the left foot across the mat, pigeon pose. Walk the hands forward, lift the palms up to the ceiling and melt in for five breaths. It's 
So on our mats we come face to face with that intensity. And we rest the mind on the breath. We rest the mind on our intention to help soften the edges of that intensity. Flip the palms back over. Walk the hands up, fallen star, left hand's your foundation, left leg reaches out. Low lunge, left leg steps forward. Right leg comes to meet it, forward fold. Rise up, mountain pose. Forward fold. Right leg steps back, low lunge into warrior one. So playing with where those two heads of the femur bones are kind of sitting within the pelvis. Feel it out in your own body. And then from that bridge of the pelvis, how can you lengthen through the legs and lift up through the upper body? Very nice. Humble warrior, hands interlace at the low back. Left shoulder falls to the inside of the left leg for humble warrior. Shh. Release the hands, pigeon pose, toe heel the left foot across for one breath. Left hand's your foundation, fallen star. Lovely. Hips lower down to the earth from the strength of the upper back. Windshield wiper the knees to the back of your space. Fallen star, right arm's your foundation. Low lunge, right leg steps forward. Left leg comes to meet it, forward fold. Rise up, mountain pose. Forward fold. Right leg steps back, lunge. Pyramid pose, straighten through the right leg. Actually, I think I have that backwards. The right leg steps back, yes. Straighten through the left leg. And send the breath into the creases of the hips and into the intensity of the sensations that you're feeling within the body. Walk the hands around to the right for a wide-legged forward fold. Toe heel the feet to touch from your internal and external rotation of the thigh bones. Very nice, Erin. Halfway lift the spine, traction the crown of the head away from the reach of the tailbone. Forward fold. Chair pose. Hands come to heart, prayer twist. Left elbow outside of the right thigh. You're welcome to stay here. Otherwise, side crow. Hands plant down. Elbows draw in towards one another, creating a shelf for the thigh to rest on. Very nice. The higher you get the thighs, the deeper the rotation in the low lumbar spine, the easier it will be to lift the feet off the mat. Very nice. Way to face that intensity head on and keeping a relaxed, calm perspective. Forward fold is where we'll meet. Toe heel the feet wide. 
Walk the hands around to the right. Pigeon pose, toe heel the right foot across the mat. Take a breath in and surrender into your pigeon. Exhale out the air. Walk the hands up. Fallen star. Right arm's your foundation. Lunge, right leg steps forward. Left leg comes to meet it. Mountain pose. Forward fold. Right leg steps back, lunge. Standing splits, ground down through the left heel. Lift the right heel up to the ceiling. Neutralize those hips, so feel the heads of the femur bones working to find balance. Ground the right foot down to the earth, three-legged dog. Left leg reaches up to the ceiling. Knee to nose. Three-legged dog, left heel to the right sit bone or wild thing. You're welcome to take wild thing into full wheel. The shoulders are lubricated. The hips are open. Find what works in your body and downward facing dog is where we'll meet. Left foot steps forward, right leg comes to meet it. Notice if that transition is a little smoother. Rise up, mountain pose. Forward fold. Left leg steps back, lunge. Standing splits. Left leg lifts, right heel grounds down. Soften the tension in the upper neck. Left leg lowers down to the earth, three-legged dog, right heel reaches back, knee to nose. Three-legged dog. Open the hip or take it up and over for wild thing. You're welcome to move into full wheel. Downward facing dog. Pelvis is the bridge between the upper and the lower body. So the loads of the body are even between the palms of the hands and the balls of the feet. Right leg steps forward, left leg comes to meet it. Mountain pose. Hands come to heart, sealing in our standing practice. Reconnecting to the ways that you can soften around intensity. Mountain pose. Forward fold, hips to heels, bring the hips down to the earth, lay the spine on the mat, draw the knees into touch for constructive rest. So internal rotation through the inner thighs, that'll send the sit bones nice and wide and create some room at the low back sacral area. And find your breath. Mm -hmm. 
give the weight of the body over to gravity. Extend the arms long from the trunk of the body. Open up through the knees. Extend the knees open. Straighten through the legs. Final Shavasana. Notice the mind and the body's response to softening around intensity. bringing deeper inhales and exhales into the body. And gentle movements will follow. And when you're ready, make your way into a fetal position on either side of your space. Take a moment to reflect. Where in your life can you soften around intensity and gift this energy that you just created towards that place? And slowly make your way up to your seat. And come to rest in a place of stillness. Eyes closed or soft gaze. The hands will rest up at our heart space. And we'll seal in the practice with three breaths together. Exhale out the air. Inhale. Exhale.
Breath in. Breath out. Breath in. Breath out. Sealing in our practice with light, love, gratitude, and grace. Namaste. Feeling good?